asshole rant for the day. You know, we keep saying we want change and we want someone good in office and yada, yada, yada about all the political fucking figures that are in office. And we keep wondering why they're all corrupt and that the rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poorer because we keep putting people that are funded by rich people into office. Yes, when a person has an election or um, a campaign, um, their campaign is funded by people that have money. That's not me and you. Um, Well... Maybe it is. I don't know. But if you want for people to be able to have a voice in the governmental offices or if you want people to um, be seen in governmental offices or heard in governmental offices, it's not going to happen as long as our government keeps getting funded by um, the rich. You know, every time they have a presidential campaign, uh, it's the rich that fund them. It's not a poor person. Me or you cannot afford to fund a presidential campaign. We could barely afford to eat or barely afford to survive. The people that are funding the presidential campaigns are the people with the money. And then we wonder, why in the world is our system so fucked up? And why does the rich keep getting represented in in presidential campaign? And the president, or why does the president keep representing the rich? Because they're the ones funding them. If you ain't funding them, why do you matter? You know, that's the thing you need to think about. Um, Every time they have a campaign, uh, the person that's most seen, the person that's most heard, the person that's most expressed is um, is somebody that was funded by rich people or someone that was funded by people that have money. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm not going to get across to a lot of you, so I'm going to leave it alone. But at the same time... um, that's just my heart on things. I'm tired of seeing uh, all our money, well, not all our money, but all the rich people's money go to funding um, a president just so he could get in office and make a change. If you're going to get in office and make a change, you don't need people to fund you to get your thoughts across. Um, you should be able to get your thoughts across without um, people funding you, well, people with money funding you. It's not about who has the most money and who could fund you the most. You know, people that are homeless or people that uh, don't have money or people that are going through shit, the middle class, we all matter, you know? People that aren't donating to their cause, we, we matter. I mean, um, they act like we don't matter because we don't fund their uh, situation or case. That's why the homeless situation keeps getting worse and people are not addressing the homeless situation as much as they should be. Because, why? The government's not getting funded by homeless people. Homeless people are a problem. They are not um, what they look forward to. Uh, They're not the ones that fund them. So why do they give a fuck about us, you know? Or why do they give a fuck about them? Um, You know, middle class, low class. um, We don't matter unless we contribute money to their campaign. Our votes don't matter unless we contribute money to their campaign, really. Um, The ones that contribute money to their campaign are the ones that are persuading our thoughts and our our, uh, feelings towards that person. You know, if you want that shit to be fair, if you want the presidential election to really be fair and then stop funding our um, presidents, let our presidents not fund their self, not even advertise. And they should go to a debate, multiple debates to see how they feel on everything. And they should not be given the questions before the debate so they know how to answer. They should answer right on the spot as they're asked the question. And that'll tell you where they're coming from or who they are as a person. All this um, going to meet, kiss babies and all this bullshit, um, all that's funded uh, when they fly over there and stuff. That's all funded by um, people that have money, you know, people that contribute to their um, campaign. But I don't know no homeless people or low class people or barely, probably not very many middle class people that... um, are contributing to their campaigns. So who is really pulling the strings? That's the real question. When you think about it, who's really pulling the strings if our presidential election is based off of who's more popular or who could get the most money to advertise itself the most? We need to get our shit together. We need to stop putting these fucking morons in office. You know, I'm, I, I got no problem with Trump, but at the same time, we could have had somebody that could actually relate to our problems. Not relate. Mm. Trump's looking at all the problems overseas. 
He wants to go to war with them. He's looking at what they're going through. He's worried about what so-and-so is going through in other countries. All that is their problems. I mean, we're getting involved in shit. We can't even get involved in our own people. And we're getting involved in other people's problems. You know? We're taking in refugees and shit. I mean, I got no problem with refugees. But at the same time, Americans are refugees. We're struggling out here. And the thing about it is, no one gives a fuck. Because our government, our fucking president, is too busy worried about shit that's happening overseas to worry about his own people.